Welcome back everybody. Today we have a very unique rifle on deck for review today. If you guys are AK nerds, you're going to like this video. I am an AK nerd. I like this rifle. <laughs> the reason is guys, this is an Arsenal Sam 5. So up until about three months ago, these have never been in the United States. That said, variants of this rifle have been used around the world by various militaries, law enforcement, law enforcement agencies, etc. But they've never actually come in before. A rifle very similar to it called the SA M5 uh, did come in years ago. And basically it was a uh, parts kit, a Bulgarian parts kit built up on a quote unquote US made milled receiver. But this is the first time in all Bulgarian made milled 556 gun has come into the country so um, there's some unique features that it has and uh, sorry to tell you guys if you're watching this right now the only place you're going to be able to pick this up is you know on the used market or gun broker or something like that um, because they all sold out i bought a few of them so i'm kind of guilty for that um, but anyway cool item that again never came in before it may never come in again. So uh, we're gonna go over it, but before we do that, I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video and that is Sportsman's Guide. Uh, for folks that don't know about Sportsman's Guide, they have fantastic deals on firearms, ammunition, military surplus, other outdoor and hunting type gear, and uh, really good prices as well. They also have even better prices if you're a member. The membership kind of changes, so I don't wanna quote a price here, but it's relatively inexpensive. And if you purchase that kind of stuff relatively frequently, it's definitely worth it. So definitely big thanks to Sportsman's Guide now uh, for sponsoring the video rather. now. Let's head out to the range and see what kind of accuracy we can get out of this setup and then come back in and go over the details of the rifle. Now we're going to shoot a few groups here with this rifle. Now, full disclaimer, typically with AKs, I shoot with a, a six power scope. We have the three power on there and uh, that will impact the results. Whatever it shoots, the gun's more accurate for sure. I'm not Rob Ski. Um, I'm a decent shooter, but uh, a little more magnification would definitely help. Um, we got target down range at 100 yards, CTK precision rest, super high tech sock full of sand. And in the gun right now is some uh, M193. And uh, we'll see what we do there. And then we got a couple match loads as well. And uh, see what happens. Yeah, extra magnification would be great. <laughs> The one thing the uh, ACSS prism here has going for it is a chevron tip, at least gives you a nice precise aiming point, which is nice uh, for sure. Uh, next up, what are we going to load? We'll load these. The uh, Winchester, this is a 223 grain, uh, excuse me, 223 chambered 69 grain cartridge. And uh, just for folks wondering, it's an OSS can out there at the end. That's the, uh, the steel one, the heavy one. I didn't pay the premium for the titanium. Kind of kick myself. Anyway, let's get this loaded up and see what it does. All right, next load up here will be this little guy here. It's a gold metal burger, 223 chambering again with the 73 grain uh, burger open tip match bullet. No, it won't be. I only got four rounds of that. That one's scratched. We're only gonna test three rounds today, I guess. And uh, after that, we have the uh, Gorilla ammunition here. I believe this is a 77 grain, and it is uh, Sierra Match King load. We'll load that up there and see where we hit. Go down there and check it out. All right, let's go check them out. So overall, I think it shot pretty well. The first group, of course, was that M193, and uh, that opened up for sure. We're at two and a half inches on that one. Then we came over here, I believe, with the 69 grain uh, Winchester stuff, which tends to, generally speaking, shoot well. And we're right at an inch and three quarters, yeah, regardless of how we measure it. And we came up here with the 77 grainers, and that's definitely the one it liked the best. We are at an inch and a quarter there, center to center on that one. So for an AK with a three power optic, I will take that all day long. 
As you guys saw out there, I was pretty happy with those accuracy results. So we'll kind of walk through the details of the rifle here. First off, it does come with a barrel nut on there. So it's threaded 14 by one standard AK stuff. I was able to use our OSS can here and run it both suppressed and unsuppressed uh, without the can on there. It is a flashy, flashy beast. And we used several different types of ammunition throughout the video. Basically it was M193 and then this stuff, which is Red Army standard steel case stuff. And regardless of the ammo we're using it with, flashy beast. Uh, so if you care about that, you might want a flash hider or something on there. That said, uh, a lot of the issued um, Sam 5s around the world actually are issued with muzzle brakes, just for anybody wondering on that one. Uh, pin front sight tower, everything looks good there in terms of the pins, no issues at all. Um, everything's straight on this gun, which as anybody knows, uh, that's not always the case with Arsenal rifles. I'm not sure if they're improving qu quality control or if I just got a one-off that happens to be straight. Um, so uh, basically the front sight is dead center. Didn't have to move move it to the side very much at all, just a little bit off, and uh, we were good to go. And uh, we also, of course, added the optics, which we'll talk about here in just a second. It does come with a cleaning rod, which I know a lot of folks like. It also comes with a cleaning kit, and the stock allows for the cleaning kit to go in there for stores for people who are into that as well. Uh, we do have our bayonet lug. If you want to get your stabby uh, vibes on, you can go ahead and do that gas block here obviously we have the uh, 90 degree gas block and it is chrome lined as you would expect for a mil spec style gun barrel itself going to be cold hammer forged chrome line i'm going to roll in the toy straight on the top of my head because it's not exactly inches uh so i'm going to roll it here on the screen rather so i get it exactly right that said you guys saw that with various weights of ammunition we had pretty good accuracy in my opinion uh, with this setup and this guy behind it. Uh, the hand guards on here are standard AKM style hand guards. They do have heat shields on there. So, um, you know, you can get it pretty hot and not have any issues. And if you want to swap them out with any aftermarket parts, you can. Um, so you want to throw a Magpul on there. You want to throw an Ultimac, maybe a Midwest Industries gas tube on there. You can do that just fine. Rear sight, once again, is going to be standard affair um, all the way, graduated rather, all the way out to 800. That said, I didn't test it, uh, but it is different than um, the ones on my uh, Sam 7s for what it's worth. So sometimes AKs out there that are not chambered in 7.62 by 39 will have a standard 7.62 by 39 rear sight on there and the graduations will be way off. That is not the case on this one. It is a 5.56 um, ladder on there. So good on them for that. As we said in the intro, one of the things that is very unique about this rifle is that milled receiver. Obviously the milled receiver is going to be heavier than say like the Arsenal SLR 106, which I do have a video on, you guys can check that out, um, but has that classic milled in uh, cutouts there, as you would expect. We also have a rail on this particular rifle for mounting optics. We have the RS regular, like we said, and the primary arms on there. I'll drop a link down below or pin in the comments if you guys want to check these out, but they're fantastic uh, fixed power prism optics, of course, with the AC CSS BDC reticle in there. Um, so you guys can see the side rail on there. No fitment issues or anything like that. It is straight. Again, with AKs, that's not always the case, even when you're paying a premium for them. And uh, over here, you guys can check out the markings here. Obviously, all the numbers are matching serial number wise. We do have a, a, a non rib top cover, which again, would be correct for this rifle as in correct for what the military versions of it have. And uh, our selector lever on the left side or rather right side is relatively easy to move not too stiff nothing like that i didn't have to adjust it out of the factory um, and then you guys can see here unlike obviously if you had a stamped gun there's none of the rivets or anything like that in there so the pins are just drilled straight through um, again if you guys are new to milled rifles that is one of the features of it um, it's uh, it's cold hammer forged milled steel very hard durable stuff again the con of it though of course is going to be that it does add some weight Continuing on back, the grip is a US made AK grip, very standard. Um, again, unlike the stamp Bulgarian guns, there's no reinforcement needed because of that milled receiver. Um, and then the stock on this particular model is an intermediate stock in terms of length. Um, so it's not a NATO length stock, it's not a Warsaw length stock, it's right in between. And uh, in terms of what will fit with it, it really depends, guys. So some of the aftermarket milled stocks out there will fit with it. Definitely check ahead of time with any manufacturer before you order one because with milled guns, it's not the same as like your standard AKMs where just everything is standardized. Not the case. So check with that uh, before you purchase anything. So let's take it apart. Check out these internals. 
Something that's nice on this as well is that our uh, recoil spring here where it engages with the top cover is beefier than most. Again, I have a lot of Arsenal rifles. It's got a steeper ledge on there. It's just nice. It's easier to kind of feel when it's in there and it's also harder to get off, which I'm about to show you guys here in real time. <laughs> Uh, let's rack it and see if that loosens it. It's tight, like I was saying. That's a good thing. Ooh. It being super cold and my hands being frozen doesn't help, but we finally got it off. There you go, like I said, non rib top cover. Then we will take our recoil guide rod out. It's stiff, it's very, very stiff, very well fit on that one as well. A little bit of wobble in there, as you would expect from your AKs. That is a good thing. Uh, pull our bolt carrier group and bolt out. You guys can see it does have the notched piston there. Again, some AKs do, some don't. It's kind of one of those things, again, AK nerds are into. <laughs> As you guys can see here, we do have our bolt and it does not have the thinner stem of, of the new AKs and it does have the firing pin block on there. So what that's for is to prevent slam fires for folks that don't know, um, but slam fire is really not a big deal um, with modern AKs, that said, is it good? Who knows, some folks say yes. Uh, the trigger group in this one is from the folks over at KVAR. And in my opinion, it's pretty darn good for an AK trigger. I may have mentioned that when we were shooting groups out there, but it's essentially a two-stage affair. It has a flatter trigger shoe than most and uh, a little bit of take up and the brake is clean. It's not super predictable. Once again, that's kind of a common thing for AKs. If you're used to ARs and you had that hard wall, it's not quite like that. Um, but right now it's not showing any signs of abnormal wear or anything like that, which can happen with AKs. Additionally, on the tail, we have a little bit of sort of mushrooming happening, but not much. And this gun right now has about 800 rounds through it. So it's looking good in that regard all the way around. At this point in the video, I think we've covered most of the important stuff. Uh, I didn't mention we do have standard AK sling swivel points there on the left side of the rifle up here on your handguard retainer and then back here on our rear. Uh, stock, rear of the stock, and we do have that, like I said, that trap door for your cleaning kit, uh, and it comes with the cleaning kit. So uh, a few thoughts on it, fit and finish are fantastic. It's excellent. Um, obviously it's a little bit heavier. We'll roll in the weight for you guys here on your screen so I don't mess it up again, um, but it's heavier than an AKM. Obviously 5.56 AK doesn't have a ton of recoil to begin with. You add in that weight, and it is a smooth shooter for sure. Um, so it does take uh, Circle 10 mags for 5.56, of course. And also you guys probably noticed I was using a uh, Polish barrel mag. Uh, that's B-E-R-Y-L magazine. There are others out there that do fit it, but just make sure you check that. Cause again, 5.56 AKs, some mags work in some, some don't work in the others. It's kind of a hodgepodge out there um, of what you'll see. But all in all, guys, it's a fantastic gun. It's had zero malfunctions of any kind. Um, a lot of people out there think 5.56 AKs are a little bit less reliable than 7.62 by 39. I don't know that I have enough data to say that, but my personal 5.56 AKs have always ran well. Um, this one has been no exception to that rule. Why would you want it? Well, because it's cool, right? <laughs> so there is that. And it's a quality gun. For sure, it's absolutely a quality gun. It can be used for anything, hunting, home defense, any of that stuff, recreational shooting, all of that. Obviously you guys saw the accuracy was perfectly fine in my opinion for a 5.56 AK. And um, price point wise on it, again, when I bought these, they were coming in at $1,499. That said, if you look around right now on Gunbroker and elsewhere that these are being sold, that was a good investment to buy multiples of them, which I did um, because they're way higher than that. And my prediction is very, very likely that will continue to be the case. And uh, if just kind of judging on the history of a sort of like rarer uh, arsenal guns that come in, particularly Arsenal Bulgaria, um, a lot of those that have come in in the past never came in again. That'll probably be the case for this one. That said, I don't know that personally. I can't predict the future. Um, but I hope they bring in some of the other variants that they do make because they do make a ton of different variants. They make some folding stop versions. Uh, they make one with a really nice uh, railed top cover that supposedly holds zero well. Um, and again, like I said, they've been adopted around the world in various configurations. So it's a pretty proven rifle at this point. Um, if you guys have any questions about it, anything like that, you can always post down below in the comments section. But if you have a question that you actually need answered, the best place to reach me is over at my Facebook page that you guys see here on your screen. Reason is I don't always see the con uh, questions rather and comments on places like YouTube, uh, Parler, Rumble, 
Instagram, Twitter, other places that I post. So I can't reply to them if I don't see them. That's just the way the interface is. But on Facebook, I actually see all the messages that come in. That said, be patient with me. There's literally hundreds of thousands of you and only one of me, but I do get to them in due time. I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you aren't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Even if you think you're subscribed, double check that because for some reason, a lot of people have been getting unsubscribed from my channel. Uh, hit the notification bell, hit the like button, all of those sorts of things. And uh, if you're not seeing three videos a week here on the channel, you can sign up for my email list, which I send out at most once a week and really not even that, um, where I send all of the videos since the prior email. So that way you guys don't have a big tech giant censoring the content that you see here uh, on the channel. So pretty much it. Thanks for watching again. I appreciate it and I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.